Hello, and welcome to the liminal space just outside of my comfort zone. I'm Danny, and today I'm going to draw Minecraft's very own Steve. I like to look at Minecraft fan art because I find it very fascinating how people choose to interpret the super blocky style. So today I'll be drawing several interpretations of Steve's model, both in the game and in promotional materials, and one more loose design based on his vibes alone. So let's jump into it. First I'm going to draw a Steve based entirely on the in-game model. Starting with the reference sketch of what I think his face looks like, I go into the sketch which um, does not look anything like what it looks like now by the end. I really enjoyed drawing his super bulky face uh, and the square eyes. He reminds me both of Bismuth from Steven Universe and also like the Cyber Chase kids. <laughs> it took me so long to figure out what any of his limbs were doing. I did eventually settle on Steve dual wielding a pickaxe and a torch. I imagine he's in the middle of mining as his namesake might suggest. I did use references for his clothes. I thought I could take inspiration from things that people wore around 1750. So you've got the big billowy shirt, except it has short sleeves. <laughs> his pants are something like pantaloons. For his boots, I googled adventuring boots 1750 and got what I was looking for. I had a lot of fun lining this. Usually I don't use brushes that are so textured, but for this it felt fitting. Nothing but the grainiest for my man Steve. If nobody else is gonna say it, I'm gonna say it. The face is a little handsome. You know, now that I'm looking at him, he also looks like Wreck-It Ralph. That is unrelated to the handsome statement. Here I go, speeding through the line work. I'm usually pretty fast when it comes to lining as long as my sketch is clean enough. Please enjoy the aesthetic montage of me lining this wobbly wood and the diamond pickaxe. I'm realizing a tangent now that I never fixed and I'm just gonna have to live with that for the rest of my life. And boom, here's the colors. I would show more of it, however, I did some annoying Photoshop things that I would rather not elaborate on because it could have been easily avoided if I had cared a little bit more. <laughs> I really enjoyed coloring in that diamond pickaxe. There was something so satisfying about it. Honestly, with that and a little bit of rim lighting, this baby's done, ready to go. I think he looks pretty good. I think of all the Steves that I draw that you'll see, this one is the best interpretation, although not the one that I put the most energy into. <laughs> Back at it again, Krispy Kreme. This time we're going for a Steve based more off of the promotional art where it absolutely looks as if the mark on the bottom of his face is in fact a smile, a big slasher smile, and not uh, a goatee or any beard, which unsettles me more than I would like to say. <laughs> so sort of following that personality, I went ahead and drew this Steve as a chaotic force which you can absolutely expect to burn down an entire village. This Steve by far gave me the least trouble, despite the fact that if I were in-game he would give me the most grief. I must admit though, the entire time I was working on this, I was thinking of my other more serious interpretations of Steve, and how badly I wanted to prove that he could be hot. I don't know why. I don't know why I decided this was my ultimate goal but the entire time I was working on this, I was rushing so that I could get to the next Steve. <laughs> the hot Steve, if you will. Despite the fact that my line work isn't perfectly clean on this one, I feel as if that really fits with his personality and the sort of raw and unhinged power that he has. Now as I finish up the axe, I'm pretty proud of what I've done here. It definitely gives off a mood that I was going for. There's truly not a whole lot to say about this Steve, other than I feel as if I executed it well, despite the fact that it's pretty simple. Now, to the next Steve. Imagine, if you will, being a man such as I, with a simple dream, to draw Minecraft Steve, but to make him be not only handsome, but identifiable as the man, the miner, the farmer, the crafter himself. And so you toil away on a sketch of your handsome Steve sitting tucked in the corner of a mine, digging a quick break to eat some bread to regain health. Imagine working for hours on this, only to stop and realize, this isn't very attractive, is it? 
but I couldn't let the flame die out, so the next day I start screen recording and I draw. I draw something tasteful and bold, and I enter a rare state of hyperfocus as I line the intricacies of his face when my hand fumbles on the keyboard and before I know it I've deleted my entire file without saving. But wait! There's a silver lining. I was recording this whole time, so surely I can just take this screen cap of my recording and then be back on my merry way. But then it turns out that what I had actually done when I pressed record before starting my drawing was stop the recording I had already started, resulting in a 30 second clip of an empty canvas. Thus, my desperate attempts to salvage my art evaporate before my very eyes. There is no recovery from this. But I've gone too far to stop now. There's nothing I can do but begin again and hope that I can draw it as well the second time. So here I am finally doing the lines on Handsome Steve, who's a slightly modified version of the first Steve that I drew. He's a little more complicated and has more scrapes and bruises from his adventurer's lifestyle. This time around, I gave him a goatee along with the 5 o'clock shadow, and we're all gonna pretend that we don't know that I'm willfully misinterpreting Steve's model. Although I actually looked up whether or not he had a beard, and the answer was yes and no, which is really all the justification I need. It doesn't make much sense for Steve to be clean-shaven anyway, unless he's using the shears on himself while he's hopping around getting bitten by cave spiders. For this illustration, I wanted him to be looking up at the sunset in the middle of farming wheat. I really like the idea of capturing a peaceful moment with him, and since he's shading his eyes, I was excited to have fun with the lighting later on. I think it's really interesting how all three of these pieces have a different level of effort, with this one being the most intensive. It did take me about three hours to do this, and some help from my wife Shelby when it came to adjusting the final color. I'll spare you the footage of me lining the wheat strands, because honestly, it really hurt my eyes. And bam! Wow, look at all those future breads for Handsome Steve. Are you tired of me saying Steve yet? Because I'm certainly getting tired of it. Once this video is over, I swear I'll never draw another Steve in my life. You know, I have to say, I'm really proud of how this wheat came out. It's really cute and pretty. <laughs> I'm not the most sophisticated colorist on the planet. Even when I'm trying to do a good job, I usually just flat it with the local colors and then do some overlay highlight and shading layers and call it a day. Which is exactly what I did here. I had so much fun with the details of Steve's face, especially the lighter color of his 5 o'clock shadow. For the hoe, I decided to make it iron instead of diamond, as I feel like a diamond hoe is very controversial. And Handsome Steve is a practical man. It was really fun to highlight the folds of the shirt. I feel like that brought the action to the pose and made it feel more real. I asked Shelby for help with the colors, but they told me to do as much as I possibly could before they would come in to save my ass. And here I am to save your ass with a bunch of color layer adjustments. See, the problem here is that Steve's skin was too washed out because Danny used a hard light layer for the sunlight. Melanated skin tends to absorb more of the light than reflect it, so I used overlay layers instead. And I adjusted things until they had the right level of contrast that I wanted. Plus, I added a warm gradient to the entire piece to unify it. Yep, that looks a lot better. <laughs> Throw a signature on it and we're done. I really like how this final piece came out. I usually have a very hard time making simple backgrounds look good, but I think this wheat whips. Thanks to my wife for helping me out in the 11th hour with coloring. Which of the three Steves is closest to your headcanon? Which one do you like the best? Let me know, because I'm a baby channel, and if you don't comment, we're all dead in the water. Like and subscribe! Bye!